Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to do the pistol squat. The pistol squat is an unilateral exercise and it's considered as a calisthenic skill. But as always, legs are kind of put apart, but still the pistol squat is a great exercise for building stronger legs. And as it's an unilateral exercise, you can work in balanced muscles. So if you're stronger in one side, this is a great exercise for it. What makes this exercise so special as well is the fact that you have to balance yourself which makes this exercise harder and but before we start training for the piston squat it is very important that you know how to do the regular squat I've done a video uh, about how to squat I will leave the link in the description and even though the squat goes only to 90 degrees the piston squat is a little bit harder as well you will go all the way down so you will work your com uh, complete leg so it's a full leg exercise you will work your glutes to your calves your quads and even your hamstrings okay so let me show you how to do a pistol squat this is what it looks like all right so now uh, in order to do the pistol squat you want to do regressions and one of the regressions that we have just talked about is the regular squat so this is what it looks like Okay, keep your back straight, then your knees cannot pass your toes, you know, if you don't, you can go and watch my video. And it is very important, if you want to master a skill, uh, you, have to uh, you have to train for it, because if you don't train for it, you won't achieve that um, skill, okay? So, this is the first progression that you want to do, the squats, and then you want to start to, after you do some reps of the squats, then you want to start doing the squats with one leg. And for this exercise, you're going to need uh, a chair or a bench, and you are going to do the bench pistol squat. So you're going to do the pistol squats on a chair or a bench. So here we go. You want to come controlled down and then also controlled up. And as soon as you feel the bench, you're coming straight up. You might at the beginning, uh, you're going to do it very fast. So you're going to fall straight away. That's, that's okay. You want to work your way. And another thing is you can make this exercise harder or uh, more easier for you. So the higher it is, the easier it's going to be for you and the lower it is, it's going to be harder. So I would recommend uh, finding a chair or a bench that is the height of your knees. Um, and now another great exercise for the pistol squat is going to be the step up. All right. Um, with this exercise, uh, we tend to use a lot of our lower legs. So we, we jump and you will uh, shorten uh, the range of motion of um, your legs. So pushing strength. So you really want to use the leg that is going to push yourself up. Okay. And another thing is um, if you lean forward, it's going to be easier for yourself to come up, okay? So let's do one rep of the step up. So as I said, you want to lean a little bit forward and then come up, okay? And as well, very important for this exercise is you want to really control that negative. The negatives are very effective when you want to learn a new skill, okay? And also this exercise, is good because you are going to eliminate the part that you have to lift your leg um, and that uh, brings me to the next exercise that is going to be the leg lifts the reason why i chose the leg lifts is because when you are doing a lot of reps with the pistol squat your leg tends to drop and the leg lifts are going to help you uh, maintain that leg in the air okay so you can do this exercise with both legs so you can do it like this or I prefer doing it uh, with one leg so you can also work on your imbalanced uh, um, muscles so it's very important to have the hip flexors strong enough to maintain that leg in the air and this exercise the um, leg lifts are a great exercise but keep in mind that this exercise you have to do with your back straight okay and also this exercise is great for you to achieve the L sit and the V sit is a very good core exercise. But uh, after you are doing these ex these exercises for quite a while, then it's time you start doing the assisted pistol squats. All you're gonna need is something to grab. It can be a parallel, it can be 
um, the bar of the pull-up bar um, or it can be now the uh, door handle and you're going to do the assisted uh, pistol squat okay the good thing about um, grabbing something is you're going to eliminate uh, the balancing and you're only going to focus on strengthening that leg okay and now after doing all these exercises then it's time you start doing also the pistol squat without assistance okay but first you want to do at least five reps of the assisted pull-ups before trying to do the normal pistol squat okay and this wraps it up you will see after these exercises we'll do the pistol squat in no time and i hope that this video helped you out achieving your pistol squat if it did make sure to like subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new coming videos and i'll see you next time thank you and see ya